Um, so hopefully everyone know, knows what Giphy is, um, but I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, has, has anyone used Giphy this morning? Actually, that's impressive. Um, more than I expected, to be honest. But anyway, um, so I want to talk about uh, a, a lot of topics that we actually covered just now. Um, uh, we, we are at the center of visual communication in some ways. So we, we, we try to integrate pieces of data um, across every single social uh, interaction possible, and it's all visual. So for us, all of these topics are incredibly relevant, and truthfully, I'll be listening for the next couple of days and trying to steal as many ideas as possible and incorporating them into Giphy. Um, first of all, we're quite big. So... Um, Every day, we are seeing uh, five, five billion GIFs are being pulled from us um, and used around the world. Um, there are at least 300 million users using us every single day, and very conservatively, eight million hours of GIFs are being watched every day, um, which, I mean, let's face it, no one can actually even vaguely comprehend what that really means. Um, so. What do we do at Giphy? Really, it's, it goes down to three primary goals. Um, searching content, discovering new content, and sharing that content in a social environment. Um, everything we do is centered around that. Now, the basic problem is, is one you'll be seeing probably a lot today, which is decision-making under uncertainty, uh, to use like the academic version of it. For us, it means how do we take from, we, have, we have hundreds of millions of GIFs, um, constantly uh, new ones being created every single day, um, and we have to satisfy a lot of business requirements. Well, so we have to make people happy. I mean, at the core of it, Giphy, if it, if it becomes boring, is, is just not a useful company to anyone. Um, we have to do it quickly. You don't want to wait around. It's not like this is, uh, I don't know, insure, you know, this is not, you're, you're not buying a new bank, you're not doing insurance, you don't have patience. Um, it has to be relevant. Um, if, if everything is completely irrelevant, then eventually you get bored and you move on. Um, and the thing is, it's a very complex intersection of image, text, and video. We, are, we have every single possible type of video imaginable. We have text overlays, we have text around it, we have context. Um, and, and everyone's using it in different environments. They're using it on their mobile phone, on their desktop, in different countries, in different languages. Um, and so how do we take all this information and incorporate it? So I'm going to start by talking about the GIF. Um, uh, and, I, and right now I want you to imagine everything you think of as the GIF, and uh, I'll tell you why you're probably not thinking about it enough. Um, so this is what most people think when they start thinking about a GIF. They're like, all right, it's a, you know, it moves a little bit, it's mostly black and, uh, uh, black and yellow, um, it's, it's a statue, and uh, you know maybe it's 18th century. Great, uh, that, and 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 oh yeah, people have looked at it and shared it and whatever else. And 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 by the way, this thing has been used more than I think 75 million times for some reason. Um, so this is how we start thinking about it, because the truth is, is it everything, all the technologies we're going looking at today, give us much more understanding of the content that we had in the past. Um, so now I look at a GIF and it says, well, okay, how is it used in, in maybe hundreds of different contexts? How appropriate is that context? Um, how often is it shared in Facebook Messenger? Does it look like a GIFy GIF? What does that even mean? Um, is it a cat? Let's face it, that's, that, that is not a irrelevant topic to us. Um, and you know, is it animated? Um, the, you know, Evan brought up a couple of things around motion. Uh, we are doing a lot of research and work on what, what happens in those six seconds. Um, is it a happy GIF? Is it a sad GIF? Is it, is it a cat uh, getting covered in water? Um, is it, you know, what, are, what are all these things and how, how can we extract them and, and help them uh, power our systems? Um, so, this is sort of the, the beginning of, of, of a very, still very simplified view of what we have. Um, we have something like 25 different models at any given time going into our metadata system. Um, and um, if, you, if you can think of the question and a, a topic about the GIF, chances are someone in the company has built a model around it and tried doing research on it. Um, 
So I'm going to quickly sketch out how the company winds up being organized around this. Um, um, basically, a query comes in. It goes to our little search engine. Um, and I, I should say, this was really just an excuse to basically have a, a computer architecture diagram that wasn't boring. So I hopefully learn something from it. But it's really this is an excuse for myself. Oops. Um, and this is where the models start coming in. We have, the, is, is it a cat model? We have, no, nope, sorry. And there it is. Is it a cat model? Is it safe for work? Is it a celebrity? Which celebrity is it? Um, and then other pieces, all going into our metadata system. Now, the metadata service is the core of this. What that means for us is, Every single piece of information we get from any one of these 25 different models is timestamped. We, we know which version of the model created it. Um, we have a historical understanding of how useful it is, how accurate is it to us. Um, and, and one of the most important parts is any group in the company can basically create their own models and put them into a core shared system for this. Um, we want to be able to take the latest research the latest models, the latest ways of thinking, and incorporate them into our company as quickly as possible. And for that, we have to have these central ways of looking at data and uncertainty. So what it comes down to is <laughs> we're huge. We are, we, we are being used by hundreds and hundreds of millions of people every single day. Um, and the only way to keep doing that is, is really to incorporate the best research, the best models, the best ideas, and see how we can take advantage of them as quickly as possible. Um, for us, that, that really winds up being centralizing all of this and allowing all of our researchers and engineers to, to bring new knowledge to the company and have it used throughout the company immediately, um, and building that into the, very quietly into the experience that you use every single day. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much.